Okay, let the basics parade continue on. We are going to check out enumerations. And uh, once again, it is uh, Justin Dyke here from CartoonSmart.com. And what are enumerations? Well, the first uh, thing you should know is you don't have to worry about spelling enumeration. You can just put in here enum. And uh, that'll get us started. So again, what are they? It's uh, basically kind of a, a group of uh, related items. And in some sense, you're uh, kind of creating a bunch of uh, constants at once. And uh, let's go ahead and do it. I think you'll get an idea of uh, how convenient they can be. All right, I'm going to put in here uh, enum direction message. All right. And uh, let's just assume that uh, in our game, you know, if your character is traveling in a certain direction, we want to spit out a message that uh, it doesn't just say something like north, south, east, or west. It gives you more of an indication of like you are heading toward the village or something. Okay. Uh, so even though you don't have to specify a type, and in a future example, we won't, we're going to put in here a type of string uh, for the values. All right. And then we're going to define them down here. So we're going to say case north. All right. So think of it like this. In case you're going north, okay, then our uh, string constant is going to be toward the village. All right. Case south. Uh, let's see. How about uh, was it was it Mordor in the south? <laughs> I think it was. And then. Case east toward Rivendale. Yeah, I'll be surprised if I get this right. Uh, uh, where those L's were from? <laughs> okay. All right. Now we've got our uh, again essentially four constants here. These uh, these aren't going to change. Uh, but uh, we can create a variable, so we'll say uh, var message, and uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that this is a also a string type. I think we could get away with leaving it off, but uh, we'll include it in there, and we'll say you are heading, and I'll put a little space right there, plus sorry direction message dot, and which is the most fun one here? How about uh, south? All right, you gotta do one last thing though, and uh, depending on which, uh, if you're if you're using Xcode six or if you're using Xcode, uh, well, if you're using Xcode six, you're gonna put in here raw, uh, too raw, too raw. Okay, that's gonna give you an error if you're using six point one. So, despite what the documentation says <laughs> at this time. Uh, you want to put in there a raw value. And you can see now that it says you are heading toward uh, Mordor. That's what it's, it's getting spit out there. Uh, so uh, that's um, that's one little example. Let's take a look at this again. And uh, this time we'll leave uh, the type off of this. So uh, I'm going to say another example with no type. All right, so we'll just uh, we'll keep going with our direction stuff. I'll call this uh, direction group uh, two, and we'll say case northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. And you'll notice I'm not even giving these a value. Okay, um, kind of defining them is enough, right? Uh, if I never need to know what the raw value is, all right, um, let's say that the, just hypothetically, this is 0, 1, 2, and 3, okay? But I never really need to kind of get that value. I never need to know that that's actually 0, that's actually 1, that's actually 2. I'm just kind of testing situations. So uh, I might just be saying, uh, you know, I just, I just want to know what the current direction is, all right? So you might say var current direction equals and then you put in here direction group dot northeast. And you notice I don't have to put any sort of raw value out here because it doesn't actually have one. All right, uh, so that's good enough. I, I just I just want to you know maybe run an if statement or something like that that says all right well if the direction is northeast then produce this message or other. And uh, you you could change this around real quick if you did decide that you wanted 
uh, to have a, like a, a simple integer value, you can put in there int. Uh, and then by default, this is going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we could then put in there the raw value. We don't uh, have to, right? Uh, and then you could also increment these a little bit different. So you could say, well, uh, northeast is going to start is going to equal 100. And if you put that in there, then the next one, northwest, is going to equal 101. And let's just make sure that that's the case. Put in there northwest. Should be seeing it there. Uh, southeast would be 102, 103, and so on uh, like that. But um, let's go ahead and undo that. And we'll get back to the just being those uh, non-typed values. Uh, let's write a switch statement here, which is a little bit like an if statement. Uh, it's a little bit shorter usually. Uh, so let me write it in the if form. Uh, so you might say if. Uh, current direction equals, and I believe you can actually get away with writing it like this at that point by leaving the uh, the enum uh, kind of group name out of it. All right, so that's uh, it's going well that we're not seeing any errors. So you could write something like this if uh, you know that else if. Northwest, and you know, doing these and so on down here, uh, it ends up giving you quite a lot of brackets, and you know that's not always the worst thing in the world. But <clears throat> we can uh, kind of compress this a little bit by writing up here switch, and if I could spell switch correctly, there you go. Uh, current direction, put that in parentheses, and then you can get away with just your opening and closing brackets. And we're going to write case, and again, a little shorthand. You don't actually have to put that di direction group name in there. You can just get away with putting dot, and then all of our uh, member names. So northeast, and um, I'm going to get a few errors here while I just type this out. And, but bear with me. What it doesn't like is for these to be, uh, for, for there to be nothing going on inside of here, <laughs> all right, which obviously they, there isn't because we're not uh, putting any code following uh, these four conditions. Oops. And uh, whichever one of these is true, all right, so right now it, uh, it equals northwest. So essentially it's going to look at this and go, all right, well, you're not northeast, so I'm going to skip down here to the next one and do that. And uh, last little thing, put in here default and then the break. And I'll, that we would have to include if we left out one of these. Okay, so if you get four in here, four members, and you left out one of them, it's going to go, well, you know, this could be a problem, all right? So if I run this statement and, and you know, it just happens to equal the one that uh, we left out of here, uh, I won't like that. Uh, so you can kind of put in here this catch-all of default, all right? So if, if none of these other conditions were true, it's going to come down here and do this. And in this case, we're just putting break. So it just goes, all right, just break out of it. I, I don't care about that condition, obviously. Okay, so uh, let's just put in here uh, print line. And, you know, you can do whatever, whatever you want at this point, traveling like these, you know. And you could put in here multiple lines of code. You can include in here uh, functions, which is maybe one of the more common things you could do. So you just kind of call a bunch of code, you know, outside of here. But you just have to put in one little nice tidy function, and uh, makes things uh, very pretty in your code. So uh, obviously we uh, we're seeing the correct uh, condition here, traveling uh, NW for uh, Northwest, and uh, yeah, that's um, that's how you use enumerations.